first episode or video I don't know what I want to call these things um this first video I'm just gonna call it a video for now this first video on my newly updated freshened clean slate new chapter new new book channel thing um I'm going to be talking about what it is like to be mixed race which is a bit of a weird subject because I don't think I've really ever heard many people talking about it um or like it's not an as talked about subject as black and white because as some people I know like to say life isn't just black and white there's a little bit of grey in the middle I'm the grey <laughs> I am the grey in life um yeah but I don't really know I'm not really talking about the pros and cons I'm just kind of gonna talk about my experience in growing up being mixed race and yeah what it's like I guess so it's quite weird I guess because you either get the people that don't really I don't know how to say it um like some people will come out and just kind of be like oh so you're mixed race so um I'm guessing your your mum or your dad's white and yeah uh, the other half of you is from where and they don't mind but then some people feel they look quite scared to ask me as if I'm gonna like lash out that they've asked and it can sometimes be quite awkward because I feel like in probably in the last couple of years maybe um race has become such a big thing especially on the internet okay so my my phone just cut out so i'm sorry if now the lighting and the sound and anything has probably changed um what was i saying yeah so it's kind of become quite a sensitive topic and i feel like people are quite scared to talk about it in real life because they feel like they're gonna be attacked there as well um yeah so people feel quite awkward to ask me which then makes me feel awkward because I don't really know how to kind of comfort them and be like you know it is actually okay to ask where part of me is from or what I'm a mix of but I don't know it it's just made things a lot more awkward and more uncomfortable than what they actually need to be um one thing talked about i've got my little notes down here i tried to film this already without any notes and i'm a rambler and i never remember what i say so i have to have some kind of short note in front of me um but then on the other kind of side of it it's there is a point where it's kind of like okay you're a little bit too blunt about it um, and you haven't picked the right words or the right tone of voice to ask me um, so my dad him being black he's no doubt got questions of so where are you from then where were you born how long have you lived here I get the questions of so what are you meaning so what are you a mix of I would prefer someone to say what well, are you a mix of than what are you <laughs> because are you questioning whether I'm a human or not like that opens up so many ways for you to be attacked obviously I wouldn't say anything like that to you I wouldn't be like well what do you mean by that I mean how rude can you be but there are some people out there that can be quite touchy and like to find anything to kind of snap at um so if you are ever going to ask someone what they're a mix of i would suggest me personally asking me or them or whoever so what are you a mix of like where's your mum from where's your dad from or whatever 
Um, but again, it's, there's always some. There's always going to be some negativity around race, no matter whether it's about blacks can't be with whites and whites can't be with blacks and you have to be here and no one's allowed in this area and this is a bad area because there's these types of people here. There's always going to be some kind of negativity but then there's also finding a way around it so that you're not opening yourself up to be attacked by that negative neg negativity? Yeah, I've just said it like three times. Being attacked by that negativity um, but it's just kind of it sounds horrible, but saying it in a way where you can protect yourself at all costs, basically. Um, I, think, I don't think, I, I probably haven't even mentioned this, I can't remember. But yeah, in case any of you are actually interested, I am half Jamaican. I have the Jamaican blood in me. Don't ask me to ever do the accent. I can only do the accent if I'm talking to my rabbits. I've noticed that I pick up the accent when I'm talking to my rabbits. Or if being sarcastic about someone and I can't say it out loud so I kind of bring it down and I start to sound a little bit Jamaican. Anyway, um, I am half Jamaican therefore I have picked up a lot of the traits. Um, being quite, depending on who I'm with I can sometimes be quite loud and that's usually when I'm with my dad's family um, and I can also be extremely laid back and sometimes too relaxed I feel like um, and I know that does anger some people because when they're quite stressed having someone that's constantly going just chill it's fine why are you getting worried about it there's no point it can kind of add to the stress and the anger but then at the same time I can be extremely chilled or the minute someone winds me up or hurts someone I love or care about or someone who I'm friends with I can be very fiery and my mood can just switch quite quickly which is definitely something that I have picked up from my dad's side of the family and I feel like probably more from my granny because I spent more time with her when I was younger and all my family knew, I don't know if you'll actually be watching this, I love you granny but all my family knew if we ever done anything wrong and granny was to find out, especially the kids, you run and you hide as fast as you can and as far away as you can. There is no doubt you will get a slap and an earful. Um, so, yeah, I did pick up a lot of the Jamaican traits as well as the hair, as you can tell. I got my dad's afro. I think I probably took half his hair because now he's bald, but I am glad because I feel like, <laughs> this is such a weird way to say it, but when you're mixed race there are so many different shades of mixed race, like there are so many different shades of white and there are different shades of black. I feel like I got the paler spectrum of mixed race, um, I am very, I've got quite a lot of yellow undertones, especially on my legs, so I fit, sometimes feel like if I didn't have my afro people wouldn't know that I was mixed race and they'd think I just had a really nice tan maybe? I don't know. But um, yeah, it was weird growing up as well because I was, I always say I was pretty much a white baby. If I can find some pictures or a few pictures I will insert them. Um, I do also have three brothers so, and they're with, well they're my half brothers so you can definitely tell there is a lot of colour difference so I will insert a picture if I can find anything from when we were all younger so you can see the colour difference between us um, so you can imagine it being quite weird like a, people would think like a white kid walking with a black guy and we would get a lot of funny looks when I think about it now even though this was actually the early 2000s pe people still would give quite a lot of weird looks as if I don't know <laughs> I'd been adopted or he'd nick me off the street somewhere I don't know but thinking about it now we did get quite a lot of funny looks depending on where we were if we were in London we were fine if we were walking around Norwich 
it would be on and off depending on whereabouts we were and it's also funny because whenever my mum, dad and I would all go out a lot of people would, especially if we went to like events or parties or things like that that weren't like family ones or say we went to like an event somewhere or some kind of concert <laughs> um, we would always get the look of someone looks at my mum, someone looks at my dad, someone looks at me and it's like they're trying to figure out how it happened like I was some kind of science experiment gone wrong or whatever um, it actually happened earlier this year to be honest but yeah even now we still get weird looks and it's 2017 so I don't I think there's always going to be some kind of awkwardness or curiosity I guess when it comes to race and mixed race and how it all works um, the last kind of thing I want to look oh my god my words um, the last thing I want to talk about is kind of like how I've learned to accept it and kind of make jokes out of it now because um, nowadays there's so much negativity towards race and so much tension about it and people always feel like they're treading on thin ice whenever they talk about it and I'm the type of person that will I, I find it quite funny sometimes to make people feel awkward about it because it's kind of like just another part of the thing that I was then talking about is like just relax like there's no need to worry about it when you're talking to me anyway so I tend to make quite a few jokes about it but I call myself mildly tanned so um I, I don't know I just find it quite funny to make jokes about it because Nowadays, if you don't make jokes about certain things, we're going to cry about it, so if we can laugh, then why not? Um, when I was at work, um, we were running late, the dentist was running late, and I went through into the waiting room, we had like three patients in there, and I asked them all if they wanted a cup of tea or anything, and um, they all said no, they were fine, and then ten minutes later, I think the practice manager went in there, and she came through and said, Brittany, can you make one of the patients in there a cup of tea and I thought why not make a quick joke, joke about it and be like wow I went in there 10 minutes ago they saw that there was a mildly, mildly tanned girl and decided no she might spit in the tea but a white girl goes in there and it's all fine I feel like if I don't make jokes about certain things when it comes to my colour and my race and whatever I don't know but yeah I'm sorry about the whole camera change and the sound change it, this is just like my luck second time I try and film the video and it still messes up but yeah um if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or any like comments you would like to make about it if you're mixed race or your opinions on what I've said or whatever leave a comment down below and I may answer it or I may reply to it or whatever depending on whatever you've said if other than that, I will see you in my next Grab a Cuppa episode. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I think these are going to be episodes. It just sounds cooler, doesn't it? Anyway, off topic. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye.